Hello guys, welcome back to our channel. So for today's video, we're gonna make uh, Indonesian fried chicken or we can say it's the yellow spice fried chicken. So for ingredients, let's check it out. For ingredients, we need 10 garlic, 10 shallots, 6 candle nut, 4 lemongrass, about 10 kaffir lime leaf and then we have turmeric powder coriander seed salt sugar chicken stock or chicken powder and the chicken we have 3 kilos about chicken so first thing first, we need all plan all the spices, all, all ingredients over here. So let's plant it down. So for the spice that we need to plant, ginger, shallots, garlic, and candle nut. Three tablespoon coriander seed. Two tablespoon turmeric powder. Two tablespoon chicken stock or chicken powder. Three tablespoon salt. And then one and a half tablespoon sugar. Add some oil. and start blend all the of them together. Right? After you see like this. So it's liquefy. Everything is blend very well. For next step, turn on your stove to medium high heat add a little bit of oil approximately about one tablespoon and then put all your blended spice inside and then stir fry them or saute them until it became fragrance all right guys so you know just saute them until they became fragrance and you see the color change into like a little bit brown so when it all became fragrance. It takes about approximately between five minutes to saute this in medium high heat. Add the lemongrass. Make sure you pound them or bruise them. And then coffee lime leaf. Just 
crush them. And then keep stir fry them for about another two to three minutes. After three minutes, when it's all nicely fragrant, all nicely blend, you can add the chicken. Mix it well. Chicken's all in. Just add water. If you're wondering how much water do I need, it's pretty much uh, you need it until it's completely all the chicken is completely submerged. Mix the bottom. Alright guys, so when you see the broth is already start boiling, put the cover on, give a little space and leave it for about 30 minutes to 40 minutes depending how big is your chicken is. So in this case on mine, I leave it for about 40 minutes and we'll come back after it. Alright guys, so after 30 minutes, just turn off the heat. Let it cool down and then you can transfer it to a bowl or to container. Keep it on the fridge for at least two or three hours before you start frying it. For the best results, it's better to leave it overnight. So for mine, I'm gonna leave it overnight and I'll see you guys for a frying phase. All right guys, so we leave our chicken overnight so just prepare some wok with the oil, heat up the oil, make sure your oil reach 350 degrees Fahrenheit and then you can start frying it. When the oil gets hot, we can start putting in our chicken. Because the chicken is already cooked, 
so what we need to do the last step which is the frying step is just you know to make the chicken golden brown and you don't need a lot of time it takes approximately about five minutes and then you can take it out After five minutes or so, they have a beautiful color, golden brown like this. You can just take it out, drain the uh, excess of the oil. All right guys, so this is the end results after you frying it for about five minutes. Uh, so what we did is pretty much uh, two minutes each side or three minutes each side. So if you like this video, please like, comment, share and subscribe. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.